All right, so as I was saying when I was rudely interrupted by Jan, golly, I like to have everything in place, and I use this front room as my, you know, my business. Uh, when my daughter gets her place, when this whole thing's supposed to blow over, she actually has a place where she could go, and they're going to let her move in, and she's going to move, and I'm going to have the back room as a business but if it really comes down to it oh, i'm going to um why do you keep doing that when i'm recording though well i mean just i'm recording and you just keep doing that that ain't funny can't you do that like after i mean come on now you just messed up dude's prize why are you gonna play like that man, i can't even record because she keep on playing games look i don't mess with you when you watching your little Dancing thing with the people with the mask, like, don't you know, looking like damn fools on TV. Dumbest show in the world, people with masks dancing around, the mask singers. I, if I, man, all right, you could tell they're running out of ideals. They look like some damn dancing fools up there. She called that art. All right, guys, I'm out of here. You know what? Get outside, walk around. Because if I don't, somebody's going to pay. I'm out, guys. All right, what's going on, guys? This is Will Foreman from Your Home Iron and Business. Well, as I was telling you, there's always business. And um, you have to be willing to go out there and go after it. So um, I haven't really been logging a lot about it. I've just kind of been working and doing a little work here, a little work there. But um, just wanted to show you, I had started doing fluff and fold, which is basically laundry folding people's stuff up. So I want to kind of show you what I got today. As we walk through my different little work area, um, load in right now, and I'll close that up. And I have one, two, three, four, that's five loads over there. You see that? And over here today, I have two orders over here that I finished up. So I have to put a bag on this one and that's an order and that's a small order. It looks small order, big order, I don't care, I take them. Like I said, no job is too small. And like this is my little work area. My daughter lives with us and if she did not, I would have that back room. But for now, I have to make do with what I got. When I get done with this, I just put it all back away and then I'll pull it back out again. So I have something I wanna show you that I got my hands on that's pretty good for this business as well. All right, so this thing. Um, if you can see this, this is I got I bought this thing and I found one like this. They are the um, let me see. I got to get this up here. Let's see. Hold on one second. Tighten that up. So as you see, it's one of those things in the hospital you hang your IV thing off of. It has the little wheels on the bottom. Uh, I use those a lot of times for long orders like this. Either I'm steaming them or let me turn it this way. There we go. Either I'm steaming them, steaming them or adding the second bag up, which helps me. This thing is worth its weight in gold as well, man. Um, I use it occasionally and it comes in handy. Like today, I have to double bag this dress because it's so long. So now I could just do the bottom part as well. Uh, guys, I'm just sharing this stuff with you. You see all the products I love to use. And um, I got some dry cleaning coming back probably tomorrow that I have to do as well. So that looks so weird. Look at that. That's like the TV like uh, reflected off of that. But just wanted to show you, there's work out there. And let me see, stop. And just to tell you, this is bad. This is real bad, but there's still opportunity. One thing my father always said, there's always opportunity in everything. A pastor told me this too, uh, but um, my father told me this first. So I'm always looking for that opportunity, not opportunity to to uh, take advantage of people, not opportunities to dog people out, not opportunities to scam people. I'm looking for genuine ideals and things you can do to make some money. It don't always have to be a million dollars. If I make a couple dollars, I'm good. I could basically retire, but I haven't. And um, I don't think I could sit down and do anything. I'm just gonna get fat if I do, if I just sit down and do nothing. So. I do keep working and I like to do certain things like um, just keep myself busy by building and helping people out and doing things. But I, I genuinely, you know, if you're looking for something to do, I genuinely look for something that is um, meaningful to people, a service. That's what my dad said, a service. If you can figure out how to do a service, you always have a job. And um, like I said, I have 
connections with other dry cleaners that I take stuff to. It's just the things you do. And learn, you know, learn how to cooperate with people, learn how to, you know, uh, uh, forge those great relationships that in the long run, like for instance, uh, are probably on this part or sooner or maybe in a little intermission part on here, I'll have my website up. I mean, I'll have my website address and you can go to it. And if you need your clothes picked up in the greater Cincinnati area, kind of the Walnut Hills-ish, I can do drop-offs and pickups because that's what I'm going to start doing is a lot more fluff fold and pressing at home. And uh, if you could do it, go for it. So I got to tell everybody, hey, what do I always say? I got my thing sitting up here and I love to look at it and I'm going to make a better one. Adjust your hustle and bet on you. Remember I said that. Remember I said that. Adjust your hustle and bet on you. Because if anything, if you're going to bet on some horses and you call yourself a horse, you bet on yourself. Win, lose, or draw, I'd rather bet on myself. That's how I do it. Then I adjust my hustle. All right, guys. Uh, that's a rag. It probably came out of which name back. Uh, <laughs> take care of yourselves. Be well. Love each other. Do what you must do. Help each other out and be creative. Uh, I'm making soba noodles. I, I'm making all kind of French meals at home, and and I'm always doing something to keep myself busy because uh, this is a really wild time. A lot of people don't have jobs, but just remember, the opportunity is gonna come out of this. New jobs will. And I don't even want to talk on them, but maybe one day I will. But for right now, take care, guys. Be well. I got work to do. Later. All right, guys, what's going on? Will Foreman from your home ironing business. Okay, so um, I do videos off and on. I showed you stuff when I barely had anything. Now I'm going to show you now. I just got some more clothes back, which are over there. They're hanging, right, you know, waiting to be pressed. Um, these are finished. Uh, the machine has something going into them. That stuff has to be pressed. And there is clothes over there. Look, I'm not pulling your leg when I tell you about this business. You might not make a million dollars. Hold on. Let, let me reverse the camera. Okay. Like I was saying, you might not make, because I'm sweating because I'll be working. You might not make millions of dollars, but you have a steady flow of income coming in. It may, like I said, some days you might make uh, as little as a couple bucks, and sometimes you have big orders. I love negotiating big orders because big orders means that you get money in. Now, me, I'm a lowballer. I lowball everything. That's my that's the name of the game. I lowball, try to keep the best quality up uh, for my customers so I can keep them. So I'm just telling you now, you know, I hope that everybody that is off, I know that you're off and I know it's hard, but I hope that you are reinvested into yourself to learn something to help you because the market opens up. Yeah, you're gonna have to navigate it. Some people will have no choice and have to go out there and navigate it. I'm even gonna navigate it when it comes back because I cannot not do nothing. But um, you're gonna have to learn and I know there's gonna be some really good work out there coming. As bad as this thing is, um, I hate to tell somebody and I don't like to toot my horn, but they talked about this for a long time and it, it happened. Uh, just to give you a point of reference, my my stepfather, who I call my father, said that one day he says he told me he said, "Boy, this system is not always going to last. It might pass you up, but you might be right in the middle of the the doo doo storm, and it might catch you. And if it does, make sure you're always educating yourself. There's a good line." You study from the cradle to the grave. You never stop studying. You never stop. Because um, I learn more and more every day. And I learn just how stupid I really am. Some people sit around and be like, I'm smart, I'm smart. I'm like, dude, I learn stuff and be like, God, I know. In the grand scheme of things, you're not even a grain of salt. Just to let you know. But I'm kind of like, I'm veering off. I'm just trying to give some positive feedback. This business can make you money. Uh, today, I was able to make enough to get me a couple um, extra items for the business that I need to replenish and that's what I do I keep using it over and over to replenish some of it and then save some of it and then at this point ain't nothing open so you should be able to save money and I know that's hard because it's this is crazy man this is crazy I hope if you have your stimulus check or something do what you must but invest something in you put something into you don't play with it I don't care if you only got fifty dollars put something into you and then the rest take care of your business. But I'm telling you this now. This is a good opportunity to, to, if you want to do something on your own, to do it. Because a lot of people are going to be looking for different services now when this, this thing jumps off. So um, in closing, I was just trying to show you there's work. 
You know, I, I'm glad I have customers. Uh, some some ain't even working. They say, hey, well, I just want these clothes done, you know, when I go back to work or whatever. But I do know that stuff's going to change. So I hope you guys are out there taking care of yourself. Be well. Um, do your best. But you know what I always say? Adjust your hustle and bet on you. Do it and see what happens. All right, guys. I got new stuff coming. All right. Later.